Welcome to Intermediate German Grammar, presented by the German Studies Program at Elon University. This presentation explains what infinitive constructions are, why to use them, and how to use them. Before using this video, you might want to watch the video on sentence connectors, because the ideas are related. You'll find that video in the playlist. Infinitive constructions are useful because they let you complete a thought or elaborate on an idea. Let's say you want to make clear that the reason you're heading to the library is so that you can write your paper. You could use a sentence connector like because to make that connection. At this point, if you're wondering what a sentence connector is, find the video on sentence connectors in the playlist and watch it first, then pick up back up with this video. Another option is to connect clauses using an infinitive construction. Just like a sentence connector, the infinitive construction shows the relationship between the two clauses. Notice that the infinitive construction replaces part of the original second clause. The subject, I, and the verb, have, both disappear. The same is true in German. At the top of your screen, you see two independent clauses. You can use an infinitive construction to connect them. The infinitive construction shows the relationship between the first clause and the second. And again, that's the reason to use infinitive constructions, to complete a thought or to make clear the relationship between two ideas. Just like in English, you will notice that the infinitive construction in German replaces part of the original second clause. In other words, the subject ich and the verb muss both disappear. If you think about it, this disappearance makes sense. You wouldn't say you're going to the library in order to you have to write a paper. You'd just say you're going to the library in order to write a paper. There are dozens of phrases that can be used to set up an infinitive construction, and they all work pretty much the same. You use the infinitive construction to complete your thought. In the example you see here, the phrase ich plane, or I'm planning, is completed by the infinitive construction zu fahren, or to drive. As far as word order goes, note that the word zu and the infinitive verb both go to the end of the sentence. Lists of phrases that set up infinitive constructions are readily available on the web. Just search German infinitive constructions or German infinitive clauses. Nearly all of them have direct equivalents in English, so you can use your knowledge of English to help recognize when to use infinitive constructions and which ones make sense in a given situation. That concludes our presentation. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit us on the web or follow us on Facebook or Twitter.